Hello everyone, welcome to a really short Star Wars Old Republic video. And recently you can see I've kind of become infatuated with companions because I realized that if you rank up a companion to influence level 50, and, it, and I've talked about this in a previous video, they have some really really awesome changes to their stats and their ability to do damage and heals and stuff. And so I thought in this video I'd do a little bit of a comparison. So here we have HK55. He is rank level 1, and I decided to kind of go through his abilities, and these are all standardized abilities, so they're all the kind of the same. So we have Blast here, which deals 5,850 to 5,864 damage. Uh, we have Exhaustive Shot, which is one of those channeled abilities, which is 6,384 damage over 10 seconds, also sunders a target, but that sundering effect will be a uh, constant among all the companions. Then you have their less than 30% Execution ability, which deals 10,912 damage. You have their AoE, which will deal 2,580 to 2,586 weapon damage to 5 targets, and then they have a 5 second stun. Now, as I mentioned, these are all standardized abilities, so all the companions, regardless of whether they're force users or whether they are ranged, will have the same damaging abilities. So each one will have like an AoE, for example, and stuff like that. So here we'll go to Vet, who has a companion influence of 10. Now she deals 6,523 to 6,569 damage um, for the blast. Her channeled ability does 7,166 damage over 10 seconds. Her under 30% execution ability deals 12,167 damage. Her AoE does 2,877 to 2,897, and then she has a 5 second stun. Now, I, didn't men I do want to mention, I didn't put the buff on her accidentally, so you know that unnatural might and the plus 5% endurance and everything. I forgot to put that buff on her, but it's not going to increase her stats that much. Now let's go on to my level 50 companion. Let's compare how much more damage is she really doing. Um, now yeah, she is rank level 50. That took a long time to get. But uh, even though she's a force user, she has similar um, damaging abilities. So her just blast damage does 9,558. Her um, uh, channeled ability is 10,642. Her under 30% execution is 7,826. Oh, uh, they got throw the buff on her uh, just to kind of increase it a little bit. But as I mentioned, it doesn't really change much. Uh, her whirlwind strike, which is her AOE, is 4,430 to 4,440. And then she actually only has a four seconds done. So I'm not sure why they, that changed based upon me melee or force, but whatever. So as you guys can see, her abilities are very, very similar in that, you know, they have one AOE ability, one under 30% execution ability, etc. But the fact of the matter is, you guys can see having someone influence to rank level 50 makes a huge difference in terms of how much damage you're doing and it's going to definitely increase your ability to so my narration cut out there again but as I was saying what it's going to do is it's really going to help you complete things like eternal championship and you know get through your chapters faster and defeat all those mobs like all those sky troopers that keep spawning and stuff you know if you have a level 50 ranked person they're going to definitely help you and they can also help you heal through maybe when you're soloing heroics and flashpoints and stuff so that's pretty awesome, and I decided to go ahead and hold my characters and actually rank one person up to uh, at least level 50. But then the one thing I saw here, and I wanted to mention this, was Zoom. Now Zoom is an exclusive companion that comes from players that had access to the HK55 bonus chapter. And Zoom, as I mentioned, has all those standardized abilities, but look at this one. This Audacious Armaments. Um, this, she's able to do 8,787 energy damage over the duration of a channel. Now that is a huge increase to that one channel ability that all these companions have. Um, that's crazy. And she also has this crazy healing ability and she's influence one. And so I decided to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to rank her up to influence level 52 just because she has these awesome abilities that, um, no other companion seems to have. She also has here this thing called, um, alleviating armaments. 29,163 healing at rank influence 1. So I'm really excited to get her up to rank influence 50 and see what she's able to do uh, for me, especially when she, you know healing me through things like, because I suck at PvE, so that's definitely going to help me a lot. But as you guys can see with Lana here, rank influence 50, and she's got no ability that can even come close to matching that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it's, it's really cool that Bioware kind of gave those players who were subscribed to, uh, for that amount of time a really exclusive companion that isn't just exclusive in that you know, who she is, but more importantly, the fact that she has abilities that no other companion has. So that's really cool, and I'm definitely going to, you know, rank her up and see how much healing or damage you can ultimately do um, when compared to other companions. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video because um, this is something, as I mentioned, I didn't know about, and I'm a veteran player. I've been playing for a very long time, and I didn't even know that, um,
it's that important to kind of rank up a character to rank 50. I did know that they give you an increase in crafting stats, so they increase your critical chance and their efficiency at crafting missions and things like that. But the fact that they influence your ability to do missions that much, like they'll really help you heal or do damage and stuff, uh, that's pretty awesome. And so I'm going ahead and all my characters and rectifying that and making sure they all have at least one character to rank influence 50 that they can then use uh, when doing missions and stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this really short video. I'll see you in the next one.